Hey guys, it's Shaylee. I am here today with an ASOS haul for you guys. I'm always talking about ASOS. I link them all the time. And for some reason, I think people don't really shop there very much. I don't know if it's because they're a UK based company. I just feel like everyone's always like, ASOS, what's that? And so I wanted to do an ASOS haul. They have great basics. They have petite, they have um, plus size, they have maternity. I just feel like they have something for everybody. They have very great basics, like I said, but they also have a lot of trend based clothing. So I just think they're great. I love their swimwear. I love their loungewear. So I've just been feeling lately kind of blah. And I just, I don't want to use the excuse I have nothing to wear because I have a whole freaking closet full. But I feel like I have nothing to wear. So I made a pretty large ASOS order just to get some new stuff. I don't know. And um, normally I would do like hang it all up on a rack for you guys and maybe do a try on haul. But I'm just honestly feeling so tired today. Kind of down and like lazy today. And so I especially wanted to make a video because my last video was all about you know what a great year this is gonna be and reaching your goals and I totally think you should watch that video I think it's a great video I share a lot of good tips that I use I just I wasn't really feeling that way today like today I was kind of feeling like down and depressed and this is what I mean like you're not always feeling great like in my last video some days you feel like shit and you're just like trying to push through you're tired you know, whatever it may be. And so I just wanna be real and show you guys this side of me too. Cause I think sometimes I always thought like I was known for being positive and I would try to be like, yes, everything's perfect and we're all fabulous. And that's just not the case. Like sometimes you just don't feel great. I've kind of felt off all day, but I think I'll feel better if I hang out and talk to you guys. So we're chilling on my beauty room floor. I'm just gonna rip these bags open, show you what I got and I hope you enjoy the video. As always, I will link everything down below that I can. So yeah, let's just start the video. Okay, so you guys know I have worked with Dossier. It's a perfume company. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. So I've been trying them a while. I have six of them. I started using them in November. This section of the video is gonna be in partnership with them. As you guys know, I never partner with brands that I don't really love. I usually ask the company if I can try the product out first before I tell you guys about it because I wanna make sure I like it. But I love Dossier. So I got two new fragrances this last month. Let me find which ones. Gourmand White Flowers. I didn't put it on yet today, but this is like my jam lately. I just love how it smells. I feel like they're, they're so great because they're all $29 or $39, so you can get six of them. <laughs> this isn't crazy, you know, and you can just wear whichever one is speaking to you that day, and I definitely do that. Like some are more like woodsy and sexy, where this one I feel like the Gourmand White Flowers is so feminine and just like spring. So the top notes are bergamot, green tea, Freesia, berries, um, has wildflowers, orchid and rose as the middle notes, and then the base notes are musk, patchouli, caramel, and vanilla. So a very sweet fragrance. And then the other one I have this month is called Aquatic Peony. And you guys, look how beautiful. I just wanted to show you how beautiful these perfume bottles are. And they have a um, magnetic closure. So I just think that's really fancy. But yeah, this other one I have is Aquatic Peony. Peonies are my favorite flower. This one, the top notes are mint, Black currant, lemon, aquatic accord. Middle notes are peony, jasmine, pink pepper, base notes, cedarwood, and labdanum. Can't say that word, I don't know what that is. It's definitely like a lighter smell. I'm just gonna put some of this on too, like a crazy girl. I do love layering these. I probably wouldn't layer two floral ones, but it has that lemon in it, and I love when fragrances have citrus. I love the grapefruit undertone in fragrances. So this one has lemon, and I think that's why I like this guy. But yeah, these are just amazing, you guys, because like I already said, they're $29 to $39. What this company does is they take fragrances that are really well known and they create dupes for them. So let me actually grab my phone and tell you guys what these are dupes for. I feel like I'm a little all over the place today because I, like I said, I'm just feeling a little off, but I wanted to make this video and hang out with you guys. I've been doing so good at um, making two videos a week. I don't want to let myself down or let you guys down. So you're going to get shaky in all different moods. Okay, Aquatic Peony is inspired by Dolce & Gabbana Aqua Di Gio, so, um, or Aqua Di Gioia, I always say that wrong. So, no wonder I love this. So, Cami Carter in our swap box sent me a little rollerball of that and I ran out. So, here you go, Aquatic Peony. You don't need to buy the Aqua Di Gioia. You can just buy that one. And then let me look up what Garmond White Flowers is. Okay, this one is Victor & Rolf Flower Bombs. 
dupe. So I've actually never tried that one, um, like actually owned it. I've definitely smelt it before, like when I used to work at Macy's and stuff. But yeah, so those are two very, very, very popular fragrances I feel like. So definitely check these out. And you guys, the thing I also love about them is when they ship you the bottle, they also send a little sample so that you can smell the fragrance before you even bust into your actual like full size product so that if you don't like it, it's free return shipping. Like what kind of company ships you something and says, try this for free and then send it back for free if you don't like it. So I just love that they do that because fragrances are something that are obviously so personal like it can smell totally different on me than it smells on you based on your pH and that is one of my favorite things about this company because they are online you obviously can't smell it until you get it so I do have a discount code if you want to check them out so make sure you check the description box and I will link their website and give you guys the discount code and everything down there yeah I hope you love them I know I've seriously been loving them so much like I was very impressed I feel like the staying power is just the same you know you don't have to pay top dollar for a top quality fragrance y'all I'm telling you okay so moving on to the ASOS haul I'm gonna start with the big one down here because I did already open it I ordered this orange striped shirt that I wore for my thrift stores drop um, I saw it and I just thought I need that for my happy gold thrift photo that I want to take so um, I'll put a little picture here because it's in the laundry right now but that's the first thing I got it's like long sleeve and oversized and I just love comfy shirts like that. I felt a little bit Where's Waldo in it, <laughs> even though it's not red, it's orange, but uh, it's striped, so you'll see what I mean. But it was so comfy. I just paired it with some um, Spanx leather leggings and some sneakers, and it was just a cozy, easy outfit. Okay, so this first thing is a great basic. It's almost like, it's very, very thick, nice material. It almost feels like sweater material, but it's just a short sleeve shirt, and it's in this like washed gray color. I love how oversized it is because I'm just all about that oversized life right now in the winter. I just love it with leggings or um, you could even wear it with like bike shorts as it moves into spring. I got this in a US too and I haven't tried it on yet. Obviously I just opened it, but it's big girl. So it is definitely oversized. Whenever I see stuff oversized from ASOS, I don't size up like obviously, but sometimes I feel like we think, you know, oh, I really want that to be oversized. So you might get a bigger size but it'll say on there oversized, don't go up because otherwise it's gonna be like you're swimming in it. So that is the first thing. This seriously feels like sweater material. That's such good quality. I love it. I am so excited about this. I also got um, Doc Martens from them, but I already wore them. So they're out in the living room. They're just like basic black Doc Martens. I felt like, how do I not already have these? But I bought this because the model was wearing Doc Martens in it and I just thought it would be so cute. So this is, a corduroy little like shirt dress and it's just like so shiny and pretty and I love the neutral color I love the buttons and um, it looked really cute with the docks on the model so hopefully I can rock it and look you know just like her <laughs> I'm just kidding this is a US 4 and this is the brand ASOS design that's probably my favorite line at ASOS is the ASOS design line just because it's all basics tie-dye I just got a purple short sleeve shirt that's tie-dye isn't that cute I could die for anything tie-dye I just think it's so cute and it just brings me back to childhood um, this is a US 4, so this one wasn't specifically saying it was oversized, so I got a 4 instead of like a 2, so that way it would be a little bit bigger, but it's definitely a lot smaller than that other one I showed you guys. Next, I got this matching like little tracksuit, or it's not really a tracksuit, it's like a sweatpants suit. I also just live in these. Not only do I live in tie-dye, I live in like sweatshirts and sweatpants. I just... I feel like the quarantine loungewear thing, even when I went back to work, I still just dress like that now. This is something I will honestly probably wear to work. <laughs> They're just gray sweatpants, and I think these are in the petite um, sizing for me. Yeah, these are a US 6 petite. Got the gray color. I'll link a few because I saw a ton of colors in this. And that's one thing about ASOS that is a little hard. It's not like they have the same product and all the colors listed in one spot. What you have to do is scroll down and if they have it in any other colors, it's usually next on the like suggested similar items, if that makes sense. But yeah, this is just like a plain sweatsuit. Obviously, most people would just like wear this at home as pajamas or loungewear. I'm gonna rock it to work, I bet you. This was so cute. I went back and forth because I was like, can I pull this off? It's pretty edgy, but I just think it is so pretty, the color. 
This is a cropped flannel. <laughs> But it's like this beautiful blue purple. How cute is that? So I thought with like a white bodysuit or a white tank top tucked into denim, like high rise denim and this unbuttoned with like some cute gold necklaces. I just think that is gonna be so cute. I just loved the color, honey. Next I got a pink sweater. As if I needed another pink sweater. <laughs> I feel like I have so many, but this one, oh yeah, it's color blocked. That's why I liked it, okay unique for sure I loved it because it also has a mock neck and I love mock necks because then you can wear it's not a turtleneck so there's not a ton of extra fabric but you can wear necklaces and it's like high enough that it shows without it getting like caught in there do you know what I mean yeah gray on one sleeve and blush on the other that is so cute it's supposed to rain all week and I'm totally gonna wear this oh I got this I forgot to go under the um so this is what I'm gonna wear under the little purple flannel it's just like a little razor back tank it's cropped but I'm really short so I bet you this will come down to my jeans it'll be totally fine this is a gray scarf I have a few scarves from ASOS and I really love them I just think they have again great basic pieces this is just a gray scarf you know like who doesn't need one of these how can I not already have a basic gray scarf I just think that's so necessary <laughs> This looks so cute. And again, it's ASOS Design. I'm telling you guys, it's the best line in the search bar. Just type ASOS Design and all the best stuff will come up. And use the filter and do it by gender because otherwise you're gonna see all the guy stuff too, unless you wanna see the guy stuff. But this is just like a shacket, they call it. <laughs> it's like a shirt jacket, so it's kind of in between. It's not like a shirt, but it's not quite as heavy as a jacket. That's what I would say this is. What's this called? Sherpa, it's Sherpa. And I just thought it was a cute basic. I feel like I don't have any new descriptive, descriptive words, but that's all I got for you. It's been like two weeks or so since I've received this. Maybe a little bit less, but so part of me is like, this is Christmas. I don't even remember exactly what I ordered. So this is just a plaid shirt, it looks like. I think I just liked the color because I don't really have anything. This is kind of thin, it's not a flannel, it's just plaid. But yeah, pale yellow and green, that's so good for spring. And again, really long. I just, I love getting stuff that's long. So again, I'll probably wear this with like an oversized t-shirt, my leather leggings, and then this. Oh, I love this. Okay, so this is like a taupe t-shirt, but it says radiate happiness. I just always like finding tops that have cute like positive sayings on it or like quirky sayings because I love graphic tees so I thought that was really cute so I got this brown beanie I usually wear the same style beanie it's off Amazon I have it in like more colors than I want to admit at this point but it's like $8.99 and um, but they don't have anything like taupe or brown and so I got this just to have a good neutral color beanie that's not black or white or gray. They do have gray on Amazon, but this one I wanna say was even cheaper. I think it was $7.99. So I thought this would be pretty with some of my more like tan and brown jackets. It's really pretty. I kinda like that with this. Like look at this outfit right here. Like a little bit monochromatic here and then you got the color with the flannel or with the plaid shirt. I was in a comfy mood when I made this order because everything is comfy cozy. This is just a mauve purple oversized sweater, like sweatshirt. Super cute. This one isn't as long. I just love the color and I love the, you know, crew neck sweatshirt style. I don't remember what this is, but it's a pretty green color. I love wearing green since my hair is more red now. Oh, this is so pretty. I love the sleeves about this. That's what I love. They're kind of like a bubble sleeve a little bit. I love when stuff has interesting sleeves like that, but it's still a basic and it's a little bit cropped. So it's just like a baggy cropped sweater in this beautiful soft material. That is gorgeous. So again, high-waisted jeans, this, some white sneakers. You're looking cute, but you're also comfortable. Last but not least, this is only one thing and it's a pink scarf so this is I think literally the same one as the gray one I just showed you guys but look at this cute it's like bubblegum pink I think this one's actually a little bit shorter than the gray one but that is such a pretty color so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul like I said I will link everything down below so you can check it out and just check out ASOS in general like I said I get asked so much and I'm always sitting over here like what do you mean you don't know what ASOS is they're like my, one of my favorite stores so I hope you guys had fun watching this video, even though I was kind of in a weird mood. I definitely feel a little better after hanging out with you guys. So thank you so much. And I will see you guys really soon with another video. 
I actually think I'm going to do a get ready with me next because I feel like I haven't done any makeup videos in a while. And honestly, wearing the masks, like I know it's what we all need to be doing, but I'm so over it for the fact that it just like fucks up my makeup. I'm so over it. Like I ran errands today, so my makeup's probably all messed up on my nose with it. You can't wear cute lip colors very often. Like I just can't wait to be able to not wear a mask every time I leave my house. I'm not gonna lie. So I feel like I just don't really take time on my makeup anymore because I just put a mask on anyways, you know what I mean? So with all that being said, <laughs> I wanna make a makeup video. I think I'm gonna do it like get ready with me style and just kinda do my makeup for fun while I answer questions. So if you guys have any questions for me for that video, please leave them down below. I'm also gonna do a little thing on Insta stories to get some more questions over there. So I think that's what I'm doing next. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss that video. And thank you guys so much for watching.